You know what my first reaction is now when I hear that strike sound? I kind of look out of the corner of my eye to make sure it's not Mike. <laughs> yeah. Cool. There we go, guys. European diamond perch, baby. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And that's a monster. All right, now we've got to make it look huge. Look at that. It takes up the whole screen. The whole screen. The nostril shot. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Darth Sloan, your official partner content creator for Expansive Worlds. And we are looking at the European perch today. As you just saw, we got that beautiful over six pound diamond there at what I like to call Bream Island. But you can also catch European perch diamonds there. Obviously, you see here the European perch. It only took me 54 and it seems like I caught a couple after that. So 50 to 54, somewhere in that neighborhood to get my diamond European perch. And of course I caught mine off from the number six tube jigging. And what I like to do guys is I like to just let that number six jig tube um, sink down to the bottom and put it on speed of one and just constant reel. And I kept catching a lot of fish, asp and other things, but we finally got that European perch to bite too. And we filled a lot of, uh, you know, completed a lot of daily challenges at least while doing that. So not a bad strategy at all. You can also float fish for them with blood worm. I hear is pretty good as well. I'm just more, I, I don't know. I just like, I would prefer jigging. But before we go any further guys, Please do me a favor, hit that like, subscribe, notify bell. I'm going to show you the spots that I fish for European perch. And then I'm going to show you all the known locations that have been reported in the official angler discord. So if you've not joined that yet, you can also access that through my discord because I've got it linked in my discord. If you don't want to go there for whatever reason. So anyway, let's hop into it and see what we can come up with here. All right, guys, we've got our first bite here while jigging. And it is a European perch, silver 57.5, which is right around that, yeah, the, uh, up to 57.6 looks like is where about the cutoff is. So long, somewhere between 56 and 50, almost 58, you know, we're in that in that range right there number six tube and all i do is let it drop to the bottom a lot of times i'll even get a bite as i'm jigging as it's dropping now just like that right there and then it hits the bottom then i start reeling in i have it on a speed of one there and we as <laughs> we weren't even reeling in right there now you're gonna catch a lot of asp here too this looks pretty big, so I'm going to say this is probably an asp. I hope it's a perch, but yeah, looks like an asp. But that is okay. You catch a few here and make sure to pick your challenges up and you'll just blast right through them. You'll catch a lot of asp, but I'd rather do that than sit there with a float with a blood worm on it, waiting for a bite. It's just, I just don't like that style of fishing, but a lot of people do. So if you're okay with that type of fishing, put a blood worm on, put a float on, throw it out there, kick back and relax, however it is that you want to do it. But you can see where we're at right now. This is typically considered number two. There are seven known diamond locations for the European perch. Really, it's right here next to the villa, number two is. But just to the north of it is where a lot of people catch their bream and perch diamonds right through here. Big Pro XCK spot right here. Shout out to him and all his fishing videos that he puts out there for us as well. But uh, basically, I, I would say anywhere up and, up and along this bank, honestly, because there's so many, like... You know, there's places here, 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 and here just along this bank that I believe people probably could catch a diamond 
European perch. But and then and then you have the islands down here. Where right here is where I caught mine. But we'll go over these. I just wanted to show you where I'm at right now. And we're here fishing. And we got that European perch right here. If we want to take a little closer look at the European perch, you can see here my diamond was 6.19 pounds. You saw that guy caught at the beginning of the video. They do like minnow and crankbait and jerkbait, but so do some of the other big fish that will absolutely aggravate the daylights out of you when you try to use those baits. So that is why I am using what I am using. Doesn't cut out everything. You do catch a lot of asp, but it cuts out a lot of them. Uh, if we want to look a little bit closer, I'll show you what I'm talking about. There's so many baits so many baits and lures that the European perch goes for. And again, dog biscuits. I've had a lot of people tell me, put that dog biscuit on, sit there and wait on it. And my problem is patience. I'm just too impatient. I feel like I'm accomplishing something when I'm reeling in. <laughs> Even if I'm just jigging and holding the space bar down, I find that more exciting than just sitting there waiting on a bite with the, with the float. But to each their own, look at all those baits right there though. That tube, the number six tube, is what I had the most fun fishing with, but that is up to you guys. If you want to throw some things out there, the blood worm does eliminate a few things, um, but you will still catch some of those annoying other fish. You know, just depends on what, you, what you're trying to eliminate, but the tube for me is what I like to use. All right, guys, here we are next to the burning ship, and we have hooked up into something here. It looks like it's an asp. It's pretty big, unless it's a diamond European perch. Let's see what we've got here, but I'll show you where we're at. And again, we are fishing with, yeah, that's going to be an asp. Fishing with the tube, doing a little jigging. We have right here, it's a little cold here, but just want to show you this spot. We've got the burning ship. It will be burning at night right through there. But just to show you the technique a little bit, what I like to do is I throw it out there, hold the space bar down. I am on PC, so whatever jigging is for you on your console or whatever you're playing on. I put it on speed of one and then I just reel in constant. And I usually catch something. It may not be a European perch, but you can also catch a bream that way. Let's see what this one is. This one's in the range of a perch. I think this might be a perch. Just looking at the tension, unless it's a really small asp, this could actually be a perch right here. And you can catch a diamond perch here. This is considered spot number four. And it does look like we got a perch. Uh, nice gold perch for this video. Now that's a good temperature, 57.3. And if you recall the first fish that I caught that was 47 degrees was over in that direction. It's, I don't know why, but when you get around a stream, streams are typically a lot colder than out in the other areas. I guess maybe that shallow water spilling out right here makes it a little colder. I don't know. But uh, just cast around, you'll find that temperature that you need. But this is spot number four, according to the official Angler Discord. Now, while we're here, I am going to come on down here, casting right here in this dark blue is where I caught my diamond earlier today, actually. Let's head over there. All right, what have we hooked into here? Looks like a small asp. We are down here in the spot where I caught my diamond a little bit earlier. And I also wanted to show you their traits. Aggressive, so they're not gonna nibble. Bottom lurker, they swim closer to the bottom. I think that's why jigging works so good for them. And they're sun lovers. Now you can fish for them with the float. If you're in a place that's like 30 foot deep or more shallow, then you can float fish and it doesn't matter. Um, I would probably still drop the float down to the maximum distance. Like if you're using a blood worm or a minnow. If you use minnow, you're gonna be catching Xander and possibly even Atlantic salmon. So good luck with that. <laughs> that's why I don't like to go with that. Oh, we have hooked into something here. 
Looks like a perch. Got ourselves a silver 2.77 pound European perch. With that, guys, let's take a look at the official angler discord for the seven reported known locations. We are currently at number six on the map. You can go around this half of the island I know, probably around the whole island, I don't know. You can let me know about that in the comments if you want. Number four is where the burning ship is, and number five is up at the top. That's also a really good spot off that dock or off those rocks on the edge. We fished at number two, actually a little bit above number two. We fished about right in through here. ProXCK really likes that spot. So if any of you guys know any other spots, let us know. About the only place that I have not really even gotten close to in this video is like number one and seven and number five. So those are the seven spots, guys. Let me know in the comments. Please hit that like, subscribe, notify bell, and let me know in the comments if you have caught a diamond perch anywhere else. And what did you use? I used a number six tube because I just prefer jigging. I have more fun jigging than I do float fishing. Now there are some fish that I would rather float fish for because it depends on the fish. Like if you get a lot of bites, but I feel like it's really slow bites when you float fish for, for these types of fish. Uh, they just don't bite frequently enough for me to like float fishing for them. But you guys let me know in the comments what you like. Also let me know guys, I have made a lot of guides. In fact, I've made a guide for every fish on Spain and I've made a guide for most of the fish here there are a few fish that I've not covered yet in the guide. Let me know in the comments what fish you would like to see a guide on from me in the future. And I will try to get to that because I'm looking for ideas, honestly. So good luck out there, anglers. Hope you get your diamond European perch or maybe another one of those accidental diamonds as you're going for it. You could easily get a bream or a roach while you're doing that. Thanks for all your support, guys. And we will catch you in the next video.